What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Starting this video with the biggest bodybuilding news of today. As Rafael Brandao just announced who he is going to be working with for his future endeavors. After parting ways with his former coach Chris Asito. Neil Hill is one of the biggest names in the industry. He was the coach of 7x212 Mr. Olympia champion Flex Lewis. He also coached William Bonac for several years. And one of Bonac's best look ever, the 2017 Mr. Olympia where he placed third. Neil Hill coached him that year. And last but not least, Neil is the current coach of Brendan Hendrickson, who is three times Mr. Olympia champion in men's physique. Now, as we all know, Flex Lewis has a lot of influence over Rafael Brandao. Because Rafael Brandao thinks of him as an older brother. So that might have played a role in Rafael choosing to go with Neil Hill. And I am just speculating on that. But an even bigger story of today is this. Rafael Brandao has announced to skip the 2023 competitive season altogether. Which means no Olympia for Rafael Brandao this year. Now, is that a good move? Well. He was top 10 at his Olympia debut last year. He was officially invited to guest pose at the Pittsburgh Pro, which he couldn't make because according to him and his team, he contracted a virus that led him to being hospitalized and losing a lot of weight. So I think that IFBB was clearly pushing him to be the next guy in line to potentially fight for those top spots at the Olympia level in the future. Now remember this. Sam Sandauda and Rafael Brandao were kinda in the same league by the end of 2021 contest season. They went back and forth beating each other. But there is no denying this fact that Rafael's rate of progression has been slower compared to Sam Sandauda. Now on one hand, you kinda agree with Rafael's decision of skipping this year and coming back next year with an undeniable package. Because the added size will make him so much more dangerous. Which is like the only knock on his physique. But on the other hand, what can happen in professional sports in a matter of one year? You never know that. An injury or a sickness or anything else for that matter. I mean Rafael had to sit out of the Olympia 2020 because of COVID. He was qualified for the Olympia that year. So what are your thoughts on this decision? Please do let me know in the comments below. Let's talk about another guy who wants to make a big impact in 2024. I am talking about none other than Martin Fitzwater. Now when he made this announcement, after his fourth place finish at the Arnold Classic UK last year, it seemed like that this decision was made based on his disappointing placing. And that it was a rash decision. Because him and his coach at that time, which was Branch Warren. They had all the intentions to win that show, especially after that spectacular performance at the Texas Pro earlier in the same year. So many, including me, had a feeling that he will most probably change his mind and will decide to compete in the later stages of 2023 season. But props to him for sticking to his decision. And he has decided that the next time people see him on that stage, they will be shocked. We saw what kind of a condition Martin is able to bring at Texas Pro last year. He has a very nice vacuum. He has good flow. I guess the only thing working against him is his height. So the 2024 season is gonna be lit. Because keep in mind, Quentin is another guy who will be coming back next year. Are you guys ready for the Emperor Pro Spain which is just four days away now? We all have Michael Crizzo as the favorite for this show. And I'm gonna say rightfully so. He will be the biggest guy and most heavily muscled guy on that stage. That too by a margin. So in my opinion, I don't think he will have any trouble winning this show. Because the thing is, he is just way too good for the competition here. So let's talk about some of the guys who will be going up against Michael Crizzo here in Spain. So I came across this posing update from Peter Klanzer. The dugout hamstrings. The glutes, everything is in. He is also a tall guy like Michael Crizzo. So looking forward to an improved version of him this time around. And I think we will get to see some good comparisons between him and Crizzo here at this show.
Now let's talk about the guy who will most likely be the one challenging Michael Crizzo here at this show. I am talking about Andrea Perasti, who we all know never shows up out of shape. And as we can see from his recent updates, he is gonna be sliced and diced again. Now how many times do we have to say this? If somehow this guy brings up his legs to match his upper half, he will be pushing so many people at the Olympia level. And the thing is, he is great up top. Front to back, this guy is so complete. He has a great back overall. So I think it is going to be a great show. Now, can anyone cause an upset here? Or is it Michael's show? What do you guys think? So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.